Tutorial Simulation Environment This tutorial covers some basic features of the simulation environment. The default mode is real-time. Here the time is continuously running as indicated by the clock. Click the Simulation tab to switch to the simulation mode. Simulation mode is used to observe network traffic in detail with time controlled directly by the user. In simulation mode, time can be stopped or slowed to allow users to view data traffic one packet at a time. Click Add a Simple PDU. First, select the source device. Then select the destination device. The simulation can be controlled using the simulation panel. The simulation can also be controlled without the simulation panel by using the play controls on the simulation toolbar. Click the Event List button on the Simulation Toolbar to hide the simulation pen. Click the Capture Forward button once to manually run the simulation forward one step in time. Click the Auto Capture Play button to automatically show events. Click on the Auto Capture Play button again to stop the packet animation. Click the Back button to view events that occurred on a previous time frame. The Power Cycle devices turn all devices off and on. This will clear all events and cause all startup processes such as Spanning Tree to initialize again. Since the Power Cycle Devices button resets the devices, it is essential that all running configurations have been copied to the startup configuration before clicking the button. Configurations that have not been saved will be lost. If the configurations have not been saved, click No to cancel the Power Cycle Devices request. Click the Event List button to display the Event List window again. This ends the simulation environment tutorial.